Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, we are going to be doing lots of cleaning and organizing. We're gonna be straightening up the whole house and we're also going to be organizing three different closets in the house. So there will be some closet organization motivation in this video as well. I'm also doing a little giveaway in this video. I'm giving away two boxes of four Antique Candle Company candles. These are their little sample boxes. So in each of the boxes, you will get four of these little samples of their fall candles. Their fall candles are my favorite. They smell amazing. I know that you guys are going to love all of them. So there will be two winners and each of the winners will receive one of these boxes with the four candles in it. So each winner will get four different candles. And as always, the giveaway rolls are first, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel because my giveaways are four for my subscribers and then you have to give this video a thumbs up and then just leave a comment down below in the description box your comment will be your entry into the giveaway and I will also have all of the details typed up down below in the description box and in the comments as well Starting off here in the kitchen, and I always start my cleaning days in the kitchen. I'm not sure why, I think it's just because a clean kitchen always motivates me to clean the rest of the house. And if I know I have a clean kitchen, then I feel like I can go and tackle the rest of the house. I just love having a clean kitchen. It's so motivating and I wish that I could keep it spotless clean more often. And also I had a big spill on my stove, so it was looking awful. So I needed to get this clean and I'm going to be using my favorite stove cleaning products, which is the Cerama Bright stovetop cleaning kit from Amazon. I'll have a link for it down below. If you have an electric stovetop and you don't have this cleaning kit, then you're missing out. So basically you put the Cerama Bright Cleaner onto the stovetop and then I just kind of spread it around over the area that I was going to clean with the sponge. And then I just let it set for a little while depending on how dirty the stove is. Sometimes I will just let it set for a few minutes and just kind of loosen all of that up. And there was a little peek at the before and this is what it looked like after. This is an older stove top so it is very scratched up and has things that I can't get off of it but it still is a very dramatic difference. I was basically able to get all of that spill up off the stove. So I would highly recommend getting yourself that stove top cleaning kit. I've been using it since we lived on the farm so probably like almost two years now I've been using that. going to wash my dishes, fill up the dishwasher and get that started and then wipe off the countertops and then we will be quickly cleaning out the fridge because I'm actually um, selling my fridge because our new fridge is coming either this week or next week which is really exciting so I have to get pictures of that fridge so I need to get it cleaned and get some pictures taken.
Okay, so now the kitchen is spotless clean. It always feels amazing to have a clean kitchen. And I wanted to quickly show you guys this cute plant that I have here in my kitchen. It has been flourishing lately. It's grown so much just in the last couple of weeks. And this plant is called a philodendron heart leaf. This plant is from the website called Bloomscape and Bloomscape is sponsoring today's video, which I'm really excited and grateful for. This is a really fun sponsorship. So Bloomscape delivers fully grown home ready plants to your door, which is amazing. So on the Bloomscape website, they have plants of all shapes and sizes from small to extra large and up to five feet tall. And you can sort them based on size, difficulty, light level, pet friendliness, and if it's an air cleaner. Bloomscape plants are kept in a greenhouse and they're cared for by plant experts until the moment that they ship. Once you receive your plant, Bloomscape offers guidance through their simple customized care instructions included with each of your plants, along with their plant mom team who is on standby for real-time expert support. And they do have different colors of pots that you can choose from as well as I'm showing you here. As you can see, my Bloomscape plant is flourishing. It has grown so much. So you guys can get 20% off and free shipping on your first order from Bloomscape if you click the link down below in the description box. Thank you again to Bloomscape for sponsoring this video. It was such a fun sponsorship and I love my plant that I have in my kitchen. So now we're gonna head back and start working on this spare bedroom. I need to get this closet organized. This room is just so full of stuff right now and so I needed to get it better organized in here. I've got several bags of returns and things that I need to sell. This closet is the first out of three that we will be organizing today. This closet is just storage. It's here in the spare bedroom. So I just have a lot of different random things stored in here. On the left hand side, I keep all of the home decor that I haven't decorated yet or just stuff that I wanna hang on to that I might decorate with in the future that I don't wanna sell. But I did recently do a huge purge of the home decor that I had stored in this closet and I sold a huge bundle of it. So I got rid of a lot of that like farmhouse type of decor that I didn't really wanna use in this house and I was able to make some cash off of that. Here is how this spare room is looking now. It's clean and better organized. I've got all my music stuff on this back wall. I'm just going to keep my keyboard in this spare room until I buy a nicer real piano Then I will keep that out in the main living area. We store the guest bed in here and then I've got like my cello case and stuff over along the wall, my Kraus sink because that's the only place I have to put it. And then this closet, I guess you would call it organized chaos because there is a lot of stuff stacked in here, but it is organized somewhat. These two bins right here are clothes that the boys have grown out of. Those bins are just the cheap ones from Walmart. They are cheap, but they do work great for storage if you just need a big plastic bin. And I put that desk dresser thing in there with the bench um, because my sewing machine is in that closet and I wanna eventually set up my sewing machine on that desk so that I can just shut the closet doors but yet have all of my sewing stuff set up in there. And let's be honest, I'm not a very good seamstress and I do not sew very often but if I ever have to quickly sew something, it's just nice to have a sewing machine. So then I tidied up the living room and I quickly vacuumed the couches and the carpet
I thought I would give you guys an update on what room I will be decorating next in the house. I'm really excited to decorate this master bedroom, but it's probably not going to be the next room quite yet because I think the next room is going to be the living room. My living room furniture is supposed to ship on August the 23rd, I think. So hopefully I will get that sometime in the beginning of September and then I can start kind of figuring out what type of decor I want in there. I have somewhat of an idea of what I want, but I want to get the furniture in the living room first. And then once I have it in there, I can visualize and kind of decide what type of pillows I want and decorations. So stay tuned for that video. Hopefully I will be able to get that done and get the video out for you in September. Okay, so back to the cleaning. First, I straightened up our bedroom and then I wanted to organize my closet. This closet had just gotten a little bit out of control. Clothes stacked on the floor. My dresser drawers were not organized. I couldn't find anything in there. So I just pulled everything out, got stuff hung up, got the drawers organized. got a load of laundry started and then I quickly tidied up our mudroom slash laundry room. This room can get a little bit crazy sometimes just because this is the door that we use all the time to go in and out. And now I'm going to organize the third closet that we are going to get organized today and that is this closet that we have here right at the edge of the kitchen right before you walk into the laundry room. So I want this closet to be where we hang up all of our coats like my husband's work coats and our home coats. And then I want to keep all of my mops in here, the iron, the step stool. So the first thing was to pull everything out of the closet so that I could go through it all and see what I wanted to keep. And then I got these brass hooks from Lowe's. I think they were like a dollar something a piece, very heavy duty hooks. There was already a board up on the wall that you could screw hooks into so that was perfect I just screwed those into there got all the coats hung up that I wanted to keep and then I went through all the rest of the stuff got the floor vacuumed it always feels so good when I check another thing off of the list to finish in this house and this closet was one of those things I've been wanting to get it organized for a while and now it is ready to go once we get colder weather one of these days our coats will be all organized in this closet Okay, the boys room was a crazy mess so Owen was gonna help me get this cleaned up and this is what happens when nobody cleans this room for about two or three days typically the boys clean up their room every single day and then I come in once a week just to do my own cleaning of their room because you know a six and a three-year-old can't get a room like completely perfect like mom can so I was going to get this picked up and organized for them and I find that with my boys if they have a clean room it inspires them to want to go in and play in their room if their room is a disaster like this they don't really play in there that much but as soon as they clean it up or I help them get it cleaned up whatever and everything is all nice and organized and clean they will be so excited to go in there and play in their play closet <music> And 
that is where we are going to end this cleaning and organizing video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that it gave you motivation. Also, thank you again to Bloomscape for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go and click that link down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a couple days with another video right here on my channel. Bye! Thank you.